Book of Genesis chapter 3, The Fall Now the serpent was more crafty than any other beast of the field that the Lord God had made. He said to the woman, Did God actually say you shall not eat of any tree in the garden? And the woman said to the serpent, We may eat the fruit of the trees in the garden. But God said, You shall not eat of the fruit of the tree that is in the midst of the garden, neither shall you touch it, lest you die. But the serpent said to the woman, You will not surely die, for God knows that when you eat of it your eyes will be opened and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. So when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was a delight to the eyes, and that she... and that she... T and that the tree was to be desired to make one wise. She took of its fruit and ate, and she also gave some to her husband who was with her, and he ate. Then the eyes of both were opened, and they knew that they were naked, and they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves loincloths. And then they heard the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day, and the man and his wife did hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. But the Lord God called to the man and said to him, Where are you? And he said, I heard the sound of you in the garden, and I was afraid, because I was naked, and I hid myself. He said, Who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten of the tree of which I commanded you not to eat? The man said, the woman whom you gave to be with me, she gave me fruit of the tree, and I ate. Then the Lord God said to the woman, What is this that you have done? The woman said, The serpent deceived me, and I ate. The Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, cursed are you above all livestock, and above all beasts of the field. On your belly you shall go, and dust you shall eat all the days of your life. I will put en enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and her offspring. He shall bruise your head, and you shall bruise his heel. To the woman he said, I will surely multiply your pain in childbearing. In pain you shall bring forth children you desire shall be contrary to your husband. Your desire shall be contrary to your husband, but he shall rule over you. And to Adam he said, Because you have listened to the voice of your wife, and have eaten of the tree of which I commanded you, you shall not eat of it. Cursed is the ground because of you. In pain you shall eat of it all the days of your life. Thorns and thistles it shall bring forth for you. And you shall eat the plants of the field by the sweat of your face. You shall eat bread till you return to the ground. For out of it you were taken, for you are dust and to dust you shall return. The man called his wife's name Eve, because she was the mother of all living. And the Lord God made for Adam and for his wife the garments of skin and clothed them. Then the Lord God said, Behold, the man has become like one of us in knowing good and evil. Now lest he reach out his hand and take also of the tree of life and eat and live forever, Therefore the Lord God sent him out of the garden of Eden to work the ground from which he was taken. He drove out the man, and at the east of the garden of Eden he placed the cherubim, a flaming sword that turned every way to, go to guard the way of the tree of life. To guard the way to the tree of life. So, in chapter 3 of Genesis, we see this betrayal of God by man. We see Adam and Eve betray God. And we see them turn their backs on what he has commanded them to do. And because of which, because of that decision to betray God, they are now cursed to return to the ground that they were taken from. For when we disobey God, we are walking away from life itself. We are walking away from the goodness that exists and instead we are turning to a temporary world we are made temporary when we disobey god 
And it is this disobedience of God that we see so often, especially in ourselves, when we turn to sin, when we don't listen to God, when we aren't praying as much as we should be, when we aren't delving into his word, when we are disobeying God's command for us, that is when we will start to suffer. That is when we will start to be more aware of the temporary and let that rule over us. And we become very aware of our temporary nature and we let that seep into our brain and destroy all the good that God had created. For in life, for we as Christians, we need to obey God. We need to turn to Him at all times. We need to be grateful for what He has given us. We have to trust in Him. We have to have our faith in God. But when we disobey that, that's when we become just mere mortals in the eyes of God. Another interesting thing, uh, Father Spiridion uh, mentioned this in one of his videos. In the same way that when we experience lust, we can sort of blame the person that we experience lust over. You see the same thing mirrored here with how Adam is talking about how it was the woman that convinced him. Here, I'll try and find it. Yeah, uh, 312. The man said, the woman whom you gave to be with me, she gave me the fruit of the tree, and I ate. So, you can see here that Adam is sort of putting blame on Eve for making him fall. When in reality, he was the one that made the decision to eat. And this very well represents how a lot of time we can feel like we have been betrayed by another person into sinning. A lot of times we can feel like it is someone else's fault that we are sinful. But reality is we make the decision to sin and we make the decision to turn away from God. That's all I have to say today. Comment down below what you think, and let's try and get a little discussion going on. Let's try and dive deeper into this word. Uh, keep running when no one else is, and have a blessed day.